My name is Dr. Martina Randall, I'm focused in foot and ankle surgery, and today we're going to do a minimally invasive approach to a bunion using the Accutrex screws. First, I like to be on the medial side of the patient, you know, obviously identifying my landmarks. So we'll just briefly, here's the EHL tendon, here's the medial eminence, and then under fluoro, I usually like to find my starting point for my wire and then my incision and osteotomy site. So we'll do that first. First, we'll do the starting point, which I like to be right at the metatarsal flare, a little bit proximal there. There's landmark number one. Then landmark number two for me is the osteotomy site. So I'd like to be just proximal to the sesamoid. So I like to do the wire placement before I make the osteotomy. So again, right there at the flare, a lot of times you have to start this wire into the bone. And then while you're in bone, adjust. I feel the top of the bone so I can make sure I'm not going to go too dorsal or too plantar. And I start it off. So we'll take a look and see that angle. So I make sure I like my position and that looks good. And I'll advance the wire. That looks good. Now I'm exiting that lateral cortex. Perfect. So you can see I'm just out of the cortex and I want to be right where my planned incision is, which is just proximal to the sesamoid, so that looks good. I'll withdraw it just slightly. Then I would also check on a lateral. And that looks good. And I'm just making sure that I'm going to stay in the metatarsal, so that looks okay. And then I will take for my distal screw, and you can see I kind of make sure this distal screw is a bit more plantar just to make sure that I'm going to capture what I want. But the same concept, go into the metatarsal, go through that first cortex, drop my hand back, following the same trajectory but intentionally being a little more plantar on this one. So here's the second trajectory there. And I like both of those, the placement of both of those. I'll punch the cortex. And we'll x-ray. Perfect. I'll come back. Make sure I'm clear of my osteotomy site. OK, and then I'm ready for my osteotomy. So I plan my incision, and it's literally just going to be the width of, of the saw, really. You've got your tendon here, you've got your medial dorsocutaneous nerve, you know, the nerve is sitting, you know, right here on the dorsal medium aspect of this first ray. Uh, you have a nerve plantarly, and so because the incision placement is right at the metatarsal, I'll fill the top and bottom of the bone, I'll go straight in the middle, and essentially I know I'm in a safe spot. I'll make a small incision like this. I'll take this hemostat and I'll just kind of create a clear space ensuring that I'm not going to be close to any neurovascular structures. Then I'll make a deep bone incision. Next I'll take a freer and I'll essentially try to lift up the periosteum and all the deep structures in one swoop, making sure I'm staying underneath of that EHL tendon and staying right in line with my planned osteotomy landmark. Then I'll do the same thing plantarly, again, trying to stay nice and inside of that periosteum. So now I'm completely free dorsally and plantarly. You can see the freer moves really nicely. So I have someone hold like this. Gives me my clear space so I know I'm protecting that EHL tendon dorsally. And then I kind of sneak in here and I start to make my cut. Before I complete it, we want to make sure that we like that spot. I'll take an x-ray shot. I like that trajectory. We're behind the sesamoids. We're rather horizontal. You can either be slightly horizontal or uh, drop your hand backwards to push the saw a little bit more distally to allow for a little bit of length if you so desire. So then we complete the cut. So now the osteotomy is complete. So I like to go a little shy of where I think I want to be because I want these screws to be buried. 
And so we'll measure the proximal screw first. Get all the way down to bone. We're going to do 34s times 2. Now I will advance these wires so I don't lose my position. Intentionally coming out, out the skin. Clamp. All right, let's switch to that drill. I will drill all the way across. I'll hold my position as I'm putting this first screw in to make sure that the reduction I got is maintained. There we go. So maybe just a couple more turns. And really the biggest thing is maintaining the osteotomy where you want it. And as soon as those threads start to purchase that first metatarsal head, then you're okay here. X-ray. And once you get it where you want it, okay, you want to make sure that osteotomy is secure. And it feels nice and secure. We've got two screw fixation with the AccuTrack. Then I'll remove these wires once I'm satisfied. And then we'll take an X-ray. As you can see, the metatarsal head has been shifted over laterally. We've got two screws in for fixation. Um, I then would go in with a, a saw and re remove this redundant shelf. I'll come in. Okay, good. So then I'll go in and remove the redundant shelf. With a knife to make sure that there's no prominence here. And then we take our final, final x-ray, and that's what you wanna see. You wanna see a smooth landing shelf. So that's how I do a minimally invasive uh, bunion with AccuTrack screws.